In this example, I'm going to go through testing for differences in two samples where the two samples are independent of one another. So similar to my last video, um, I'm going to go through uh, statins that decrease people's cholesterol levels. Different than in the last video though, in the last one we were looking at the same individuals before and after they started a certain brand of statin. Uh, in this case, we're going to compare results between two different brands. And let's assume the two groups that are being tested on, sorry, um, are independent of one another. So they're not paired together somehow. That is also possible to do some sort of um, pairing of individuals based on um, certain properties, but we're not doing that in this case. We're just saying the two groups are totally independent of one another. We're recording their baseline levels. Let's assume they're people who needed to start statins and half of them are given brand X, half are given brand Y. And we're looking at their baseline levels and then their levels after they have taken these meds or these statins for six months. And in each case, we're looking at the decrease in the levels between them. Um, and what we really want to know is, is there a difference in the decrease in the levels? So does one brand, you know, is one brand different from the other in how they decrease people's um, cholesterol levels over time? Okay. So first question to always answer for these independent samples, there's two possible tests we could do. Um, so we either do the pooled or unpooled test for independent samples. So we know that we need the pool or unpooled. We just don't know which one yet. So let's first step through how to figure out which one of those we're going to use. So first thing I'm going to want to do is to figure out the standard deviations for each of these groups. And actually, let's just do it this way. You could do the variance or the standard deviation. I'm just going to do the standard deviation for each. So many ways to do this. I'm just going to use stdev.s, control shift down to grab those decreases in levels like that for this first brand X results. Little comment while I'm doing this might not mean anything to many of you, but um, this data is fake data. It's been simulated using a, roughly a Monte Carlo simulation. So this is all fake data um, simulated off of roughly realistic numbers here. Okay, so brand X, we have um, a standard deviation of 78. Let's look at brand Y and see what we get here. So we're gonna use another stdev.s S for sample, STDV for standard deviation, and go grab these decreases. On a little side note, if the decrease is negative, that means that person's cholesterol has increased. Notice that is a very low level though. 200 and above, we start getting concerned. 240 is deemed high. Um, so yeah, that's, that's fine in this case. But yeah, negative means it's gone up. Okay could be for um, a handful of reasons. Okay, so now this calculation is what we do to determine pooled or unpooled. So what we wanna check is if one of these is more than double the other one. That's what we're really looking for. Okay. And if one of them is double the other, then we use an unpooled, or sorry, yeah, unpooled variance test. 
if no, if one is not double the other, then we use a pooled variance test. So this is our case now. This is what we're dealing with in this case. We have, they're roughly the same. This guy is just slightly bigger than this one. You could also just go and test it. Go uh, take the larger one, divide by the smaller. Okay, so brand X is, sorry, um, 1.14 larger in standard deviation than brand Y. Um, so we're just checking, is that less than two, um, which it is. So we have pooled variance. What that means is we're assuming that brand X and brand Y are really coming from the same population and we can pool their standard deviations together into one. Uh, anyways, we don't need to worry about that piece. Now we just need to go and run the test. So let's go into the data tab and data analysis, just like in my previous video. And now, previously we did the paired test, now we're doing the two sample equal variance. So it's also called the equal variance um, test or pooled. So assuming their standard deviations or their variances are roughly equal. Click OK. And it doesn't matter which one you pick is which. I just usually pick the first sample here um, as sample one. And just be careful, in this case, we're trying to study the effective, effectiveness of each of these medications. So we're trying to study the average drop due to each brand here. Okay, range two is this guy. Now, hypothesize difference. I'm putting it at zero. Again, I just want to see if there is a difference. Sometimes you don't want to just tell, is there a difference? You want to ask, kind of by how much. Uh, that would be the case where you'd put a non-zero amount here. Check off labels, um, depending on your level of significance given in the problem. Let's test again at the 1%, so I'm gonna put alpha at 0 0.01. And uh, let's just put this output in a new worksheet and let's call this uh, results. Beautiful. Okay, and here it is. Now we want to test if there is a difference in the um, in the two sets of effectiveness here. If we want to test if there is a difference, that is a two-tailed test. So two-tailed just means that we go and read the two-tailed p-value. Wow, that is really inconclusive. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna pause the video and write out my decision and conclusion, and then we'll talk about that. Okay, so here we go, decision. Because this p-value is way larger than the 1% cutoff, which is our level of significance, we fail to reject H0. Okay, conclusion. There is not enough evidence to conclude that there is a difference in the effectiveness in dropping cholesterol levels between the two brands of statins. That would be what you would hope as well. That they're both going to help you as well, hopefully. Um, okay, but yeah, so that concludes this pooled variance t-test to test if there's a difference between these two brands um, of statins, or if you will, we're testing on two independent samples of people. Thanks for watching.